What is up, guys? La Puma Mania 1980 back. The Hulk Hogan of Hulk Hogan Collecting. And today I have an unboxing, but I also want to do a little history lesson. It is a Sting Hogan two-pack. And I just wanted to go through all of the two-packs and, and multi-packs that these guys are in together. It is two different wrestling companies, three different toy companies, and I don't think any two wrestlers are in multi-packs more than Hogan and Sting. So let's start off from 1994, original San Francisco toy makers. I don't have all of them, but this Hogan here comes in a two pack with Sting, not once, but twice. So two different two packs of Sting and Hogan with uh, original San Francisco toy maker, 1994, Hogan in the red and yellow. The red and black Sting two-pack I think is the harder one to get. Then you have a six-pack that comes with a ring with this original San Francisco toy maker Hogan. Probably the worst figures ever made. They made many or miniature ones as well. Uh, don't know if this was the action or if the action is just broke but also came in a six-pack with uh, a ring, Hollywood Hogan and Sting. Again, original San Francisco toy maker. Then you have the two pack of this. Again, San Francisco toy maker. The vibrating figures shown here. Hollywood Hogan and Sting again. I This one, oh, I don't know if you could hear it. Probably can't, but this one still vibrates. Uh, like I said, I don't have all the two packs. And I do remember buying that Sting though when I was around that age. When did this come out? 1997. 17, I was just getting back into wrestling and I picked up Hollywood and I remember picking up that Crow Sting. There's also a miniature, which I forgot to get. Let me get it now. Which I actually did have mock, but I have since sold it. It is a little miniature ring. I would have to take apart the cage, but it has the WCW Championship uh, buckle, the plate, and comes with this little miniature ring with steel cage. And again, Hollywood Hogan and Sting come together. Like I said, I did. I had this. I have it loose, obviously, but I did have it mock as well. I have since sold it. Very hard to come by uh, mock. See the picture here. I'm not sure why I sold it, but I did. So there is another. This is also uh, San Francisco Toy Makers. Now you're gonna get into Toy Biz. There is a three pack of Hollywood, Sting and Goldberg, all with the uh, different belts. I do not have that one, so I'll show you the picture there. And then there is this two pack, which I love. Class of Champions. Hogan and Sting. That Sting is is sick. The jacket detail on this figure is awesome. That Hollywood Hogan. Uh, I do believe this is the only time this Hollywood Hogan was released, was in this two-pack. Comes with a little stand back there. The big gold, toy business version anyway, of their big gold. So this one, pretty, pretty cool, man. This was the toy biz era. So now we're on to the second different toy company making Sting Hogan two packs. So those are the two from Toy Biz. Now we go into a different federation, TNA. Fast forward, how many more years? Jax has the license to TNA. They come out with this Hulk Amania ring playset. I have it sealed, never opened. And it has Hulk Hogan in the red and yellow tie-dye, and this awesome Sting figure. A very, very underrated Sting. Look at that. That looks sick. That is that is probably one of the most underrated Sting figures going. I love it. Hogan. It's a Hogan ring. They also came out with another version of this with the figures already inside the box. No, no clear uh, windows like this. 
And it's two different Hogan and Sting figures. They're actually, they look like dollar store figures. They're not very good. Same ring though, just different figures, different box. Like I said, no, no window here. There's the picture for you guys to see it. I do not have that one. Uh, honestly, I just don't like the figures, so I don't need it. I do, I'm not a complete collector. I, I don't complete this Hogan collection because then I, I would be uh, out of room. And now we get to the big boy. The last TNA uh, two-pack that they made of Hogan and Sting. I've been looking for this bad boy forever. It has gone way up in value. Matt Cardona on um, whatnot, the major wrestling figure podcast co-host. Uh, he does a whatnot every week, and he was putting this up for sale, and I knew I had to have it. So before I unbox this, I have bought from Matt plenty of times, and a couple of times he doesn't like to uh, bubble wrap things. So let's see. Hopefully he bubble wrapped this because this was a big boy purchase. All right, there's my receipt. Oh, please have bubble wrap. All right, I see bubble wrap. I know he said on the podcast that he's not doing his shipping anymore. He has somebody else doing it. So they wrapped it nicely. Thank you. And here we go. This Hogan Sting 2-pack. Legends of the Ring. The only thing is that the stand, their nameplates uh, came off, but that's all right. This was a ringside exclusive uh, two-pack, Legends of the Ring. I gotta find a way to get this down. This should be down here. So should I open it and push it down there? Or does anybody have any uh, suggestions on how I can get that down there? But regardless of the fact, I do have this Hogan loose. I don't have the shirt though. It's actually a bloody Hogan. I don't know if you guys can see with the glare. But this sting, the details on this jacket is sick. And this might actually be the same sting from the ring. Let me see here. He's got white with the red and black face. No, it's a little different, a little different. I'll tell you, uh, Mattel does an awesome job. But Jax, when they had the TNA license, they came out with some awesome stings. They had the uh, the Joker sting, where he looked like the Joker face paint. They had another ringside exclusive sting with a, with a with a soft goods jacket like that, which I had, but I since have sold. So they did a great job on Sting. Here's the the back of the pack. I have been dying for this two pack. I'm so glad to finally have it in my collection. I think this was $40 or $30 when it came out on ringside. What year is this? This is from 2010. So it's going on 14 years almost already. Damn, we're old. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to get this down, please write it in the comments below because this is gonna this is gonna kill me. Although it don't look half bad because it's on an angle. <laughs> so it, it looks like it might have, uh, like it was supposed to be like that, but you could tell that it's supposed to be down here. But other than that, this was a uh, not cheap, pretty cool. It's got the bat there too. So uh, yeah, man, those are all the Sting Hogan two packs. If you guys know any of the two wrestlers that have multi packs, as many as Hogan and Sting do, please leave it in the comments below because I cannot think of any, especially with three different toy companies, two different wrestling federations. Mattel, they have lost the license to Sting because he's in AEW. You never made a Sting Hogan 2-pack. That would have been sick. A little Starcade 97. Starcade 97, Hogan Sting. That would have been sick. But anyway, that's my story for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We are so close to 500 subs. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to do the room tour for you guys. And uh, a lot more things to come in 2024. So uh, please stay tuned. Thanks a lot, guys.